as the younger generation, we need to be informed of history itself, just so we are aware of our history and where we come from and why the world is the way it is currently. It's a revealing experience because not many people know about Bayard and actually none of us did. For what I know, we didn't know about Bayard before doing this play. So it's like an eye-opening experience doing this and realizing the other people behind it. The, the performing arts program here is just spectacular. I can't tell you how proud I am to be part of this and to have them now part of our, our SCAN uh, family. Uh, it's, we've always, Harbor's performing arts program has always been considered a program of real excellence, but more than just teaching young people the creative arts skills, it's the uh, family atmosphere, the camaraderie. Our young people write m much of their own stuff and uh, speak out very powerfully for social justice, which what makes this play particularly powerful and to reson resonate in a very powerful way for myself and all of us that care. talks about how even though we're different skin colors, we're all the same. We're all human, we all live on the same earth, we all need water, and we all need food. My name is Nathan Nonhoff. I'm uh, happy to be playing A. Philip Randolph in Bayard, who was um, sort of like the older mentor to all of the leaders. <laughs> We're working with a wonderful cast. Um, we're happy to be working with the, the, the Harbor Boys and Girls, and everybody's putting on some, some really good work. It's going to be a lot of fun. feels great. I mean, when I first heard about Bayard, um, I didn't know about Bayard until this play. And then my, you know, reaction to that was, why doesn't everybody know about this? So I think it's, it's one of those times where you're telling a story where you're like, this really, really needs to be told. And it's really fun to, to be a part of that and to see that grow and develop. Two, three, four. I'm excited for most of the singing and the dancing because all of the dances, it goes to the rhythm and we're like surrounding like Bayard and his grandmother and Bayard's grandmother is like teaching him that it's all about love and equality. I'm most excited about one of the numbers. It's called Eyes on the Pies. thing is actually singing because like it's a different way to express how the story is being told
Harbor Boys and Girls are insanely talented. And, you know, there are, I think, eight or nine or however many of us that got asked to do this. We were all professional working actors, but these kids are incredible. The talent level is so high. They're singing harmonies, they're dancing. They're doing more than we are on stage, let's be honest. And it's just so cool to, to kind of be inspired by their work. Me, as a person who performs often, I am inspired by their work. We are the same. The younger generation these days don't know what what kids and adults went through in the '60s, um, and the fact that they didn't have the rights that they do today. We're still working to make that better, but uh, knowing who these people were and what they did for us, no matter what color you are, you, you uh, have an impact. You've, you've experienced some sort of impact from what they did. So children nowadays need to know these stories. They need to know what their forefathers went through to get us to where we are today. Hey, I'm Jonathan Farrington, and I am playing the role of Bayard Rustin. I am very, very excited. The moment I found out that they were actually doing this musical, I was surprised and overtaken because, first of all, I didn't know who Bayard Rustin was before this. Come to found out, find out that he is such an instrumental figure in the civil rights movement, and I'm so glad that they're actually telling his story. You know, he's an, I consider him to be an unsung hero. And now we get to, to present him and to share him in such a, a great way, in a way that I feel like he deserves to uh, be celebrated. Yeah. 